He is known for being an iconic artist such as painting, designing, making sculptures, and for his brand Kai Kai Kiki, as well as commercial fashion and merchandise. In this video, we will talk about the early days of the famous flower artist and how his brand started. Before we start, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We're going to start making more of these, so comment below on who you want us to cover next. And here we go. Takashi Murakami is a Japanese native born on February 1st, 1962. Murakami was born and raised in Tokyo, Japan in a city called Itabashi. As a kid, Murakami was a fan of anime and manga that inspired him to work in the animation industry. He attended Tokyo University of the Arts to learn how to become an animator but eventually majored in Nihongo, which is the traditional painting style of Japan. He earned his master's degree in 1988 and earned a PhD in Nihongo in 1993. He slowly started to explore more contemporary art styles that was highly political. In 1994, Murakami received approval from the Asian Cultural Council to participate in the PS1 International Studio Program in New York City. During this time in New York, he was exposed to artists who he was highly inspired by such as Anselm Kiefer and Jeff Koons. He started working in a small studio he had at the time, and once he returned to Japan, he would develop the core concepts behind his artistic ideas. In 1996, Murakami launched the Hiro Pond Factory, which is his production workshop, to work on a larger scale and in a more diverse array of media. Two years later, Murakami created a sculpture piece called the Lonesome Cowboy, which was very controversial considering it was displayed as an anime-style man holding his thang and shooting out what it seems to be love juice. Although during that time he didn't get great feedback from Japan, that sculpture is now worth over 15 million dollars. Superflat is an art movement founded by Murakami in the year 2000, which is influenced by manga and anime. It is also the name of an art exhibition curated by Murakami that toured West Hollywood, Minneapolis, and Seattle. This movement gave him new ideas for his art that further flattened the playing field by repackaging his high artworks as merchandise such as plush toys and t-shirts making them available at more affordable prices. While making most of his work in his Hero Pond factory, he created an extension that employed many assistants to help his vision and which he called it Kai Kai Kiki. Murakami lifted the name Kai Kai Kiki, which means brave, strong, and sensitive, from a critic in the late 16th century who used it to describe the painting of Kano Eitoku. This meaning is important for Murakami as it collapses two opposing forces into one, a quality that he feels is at the heart of Japanese art, past and present. In an interview, Murakami said, I became an otaku when I was in high school and absorbed many different things from anime like its erotic and fantasy elements that very process result in his work. That would result in his kawaii anime-like style of art and his idea of flowers and trippy anime-like character designs. This would eventually catch the eyes of a man named Mark Jacobs, the creator of Louis Vuitton. In 2002, Murakami was invited by Mark to collaborate his work with Louis Vuitton by making designs for handbags that became a huge success. My collaboration with Takashi Murakami, um, you know, began really, I, I, saw, I saw his work and um, I was so blown away, I was so sort of moved by the power and the strength and the sort of contemporary sort of, I mean, this moment, this kind of cartoon vision uh, that I, I approached him to work uh, with me or to engage him in something for Louis Vuitton. The success of his collaboration would make him commercially known and turned him into a worldwide known celebrity. His art would grab the attention to big music artists like Pharrell and Kanye West. From there, Murakami would only get bigger and his work would be on more high demand in which celebrities would want to collab with or even just buy his merchandise. Oh! Let's go! Big names such as Post Malone, Kid Cudi, Billie Eilish, J Balvin, Virgil Abloh, Juice World, and Drake. It's safe to say Murakami's Kai Kai Kiki brand has become iconic and it's only getting bigger as time progresses. That's the story of Takashi Murakami. Thanks everyone for watching. We hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.